so I was right that that was the dragon horn, but I went up there and there was nothing, so... One undead. Not skeleton, just undead. Even though we fought ghosts and stuff, this is the only undead. Will the real undead please stand up? Please stand up. I mean, according to this game, only undead are undead. <laughs> yeah, he was definitely unlucky. The, the, the worst luck about it is that it was a winning lottery ticket, but he never lived long enough to, to turn it in. That's, that's his unlucky. just two paths from the same destination. Is Fire Bane, like, a water spell? Or a fire spell? Because if it's the Bane of Fire, it'd be water. But I feel like that's not the case. The game was just like, yeah, Fire Bane sounds cool. <laughs> we got, oh God. That is a mean combination. Thankfully we got to it before it was a problem. Cause the ants put you to sleep. The uh, gremlins do massive amounts of damage. Oh, hello. And uh... And then the Gorgons do that defense up, making them everything harder to kill. Silver key open that door. Sure.
Oh, hello. The Long Ages, I guarded the Chamber of Hargon. There is a land called Rhone, high in the mountains in the middle of a great continent. There shall you find Hargon. Are you serious? That can't be all there is to the stupid tower. I did not climb all the way up here with the hardest enemies in the game that I've ever come across to get information that I can't really use. HP. Okay, good. That would have been 50 damage to everybody. 60 damage to everybody, at least. Something like that. I feel like Repel makes the encounter rate reasonable. <laughs> you know? It's like Repel makes the encounter rate the way it should be without repel. <laughs> Repel makes it a good game. This is definitely the worst of the DQs that I've played. Like, hands down, the worst DQ I've played. Uh, it doesn't make it a bad game. It just makes it a product of the time. It's like FF2, you know? FF2 is, like, objectively the worst Final Fantasy game. It, it, it does some really stupid stuff, but it was old. It, it tried something new. It didn't work out. Uh, granted, I can still have fun with FF2 because once you understand and know the mechanics of FF2, it's really fun to exploit it. This, I don't feel, has the same kind of ability. Like, you understand and, and, and learn the mechanics of this game, and you learn that they're still bullshit. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> still bullshit. So it doesn't really, like, allow you to have uh, fun just because you understand it more, you know? Yeah, FF2 is breakable. This is not breakable. It only breaks you. Exactly. Well, I don't have 12 MP to use outside and use re return. Hopefully I have some wings. Yeah, I do have wings. I could probably just take a boat and be fine. I kind of want to explore out here a little bit more though first. Also, I could just jump off the edge. Hey, Burger Tank, what's up, man? There's a room over there that looks like very item-y. 
Oh no, that's the tower that goes up. Never mind. Well, if I were to use the stairs, take me in there, okay. Uh, struggly, but we're getting through it. See, the way I'd argue it, Bay, is that, like, uh, Dragon, uh, Dragon Warrior games, or sorry, both Dragon Warrior and Final Fantasy games are not really breakable from a blind perspective. So you're gonna just kind of go through the game, you're gonna have to figure it out and find out, and it's gonna be, you know, it's intended difficulty regardless. The difference is that when you learn Final Fantasy games, then you can kind of exploit them more efficiently, whereas DQ games are like this... Num they're, they're, they're a flat numbers game, you know, where it's numbers only and mechanics don't really matter. And you can't really exploit numbers. You can only exploit mechanics, per you know, for the, for the most part. So I feel like... I feel like that's kind of the flaw of DQ games, is that there's no real way to, like, enhance replay value due to the lack of, uh... mechanics exploitation. And I'm going to die. Of course, right when I'm about to leave. Like, I was literally going to jump off the edge after this battle. And instead, screw it over again. Fucking hell, man. Like, I was... Ugh, so aggravating. It's so aggravating. And that's kind of what this game does. It's just very aggravating. It just does some really dumbass bullshit stuff. Like, even even FF2 was not this aggravating. Like, I mean, I grew up with RPGs like this and video games like this. I grew up in this era, so it's nothing, you know, super new to have to deal with that, you know, old-style gameplay of uh, really unfair mechanics. But this kind of goes above and beyond, you know? Kind of goes above and beyond. I swear I'm seeing the text all as red. Is the text red to everybody else? It feels like, oh, it is red because I'm low HP. <laughs> I'm just always seeing red now. <laughs> okay, now it's white. <laughs> I'm just seeing red. <laughs> oh. I'm still no closer to what I what I think I need to do. I'm I'm kind of at a loss still, so I'm just trying to sit here and figure it out. map at the very least. Alright, it was there. I could get out the, through there. 
start exploring that whole part of the world. Oh, there's that one part. Oh, I've been over there before. That's the one part I need to I need to get the key that unlocks the water draining thingy. But I don't, I don't know where to find the thief that has the key. But I have been out there before. But I see this other part of the world that I feel like I should have been there. Oh, I have been there. Okay. That means I've been there as well. It means I've... Okay, that... Okay. All right. I think I I, I'll, I have an idea of kind of where I want to where I want to go. Pretty much completely on the opposite side of the world. I feel like the bigger difference in level between you and the enemies of the area, the, the less encounters you get. That's what it feels like anyway. So this, this is the very, very, very beginning of the game right here. And there's like these tiny little islands out here that I've definitely tried to explore and completely missed. So it's like, uh... Island right here. I feel like I've been here before. Nope, never mind. This doesn't look familiar anymore. A, that was a valuable island. <laughs> Maybe none of these islands are actually any use to me. Who knows? But there's still a bunch of small islands out here, so we're gonna take a look at all of them. Island, I think. Oh, I've been here. I've been here. You know what? I need to test the gold key here, though. I need to see if I can use the gold key. The fact that I found these places without a map is is, is crazy. 
crazy. There was a lot of blind exploration going on here. Hey, Sydney, thank you for the 25 months. Buts, 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 buts. Magic knife, blue. Do not enter this place. Okay, sure. I want to see how good this is. See if who, who can equip it. Train to Ilani. This is garbage. The dude that said that he was looking for the armor of Gaia was literally in the shop where the armor of Gaia was at. Ilani can it be equipped. It's weird that when you try to equip something, it unequips you. Ours can't be equipped with it either. Hey, Finn, thanks for the host, dude. What's going on? What? Does it actually... <laughs> What's the point of that door? Why, though? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I just don't... <laughs> There's just no reason for that. <laughs> I could get another armor of Gaia. Not that it would matter. It's not a doggo, it's actually a tiger. <laughs> I guess that doesn't make it better, but yeah. Which now sink is west. Well, there is something to my west, actually, so I could try. Strength is that of many fearsome hippopotam hippopotamuses. Thank you. Yikes, these things put you to sleep. Uh, 
Holy shit! What? Yeah. Uh, what am I? I can't. Uh, my head is swirling. My head is swirling. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Hopefully, spells actually have a chance of landing on metal slimes in this game. Ow. 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 Nope. 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 I'm not gonna get any of them. There's no way. None of my spells are landing, and my damage is gonna be too def- Oh, 12. Oh, shit! What? Wait, Erdrick's sword? I think it's Erdrick's sword that just does damage to metal slimes. It's like a metal killer sword. Yo! It's like a metal killer sword! I'm glad I kept Merdrick's sword on. 689 isn't even that impressive. It's like 200, 200 230 apiece. Uh, I mean, it's a lot, but three metal slimes in any other DQ game would get you like three levels. But I got three out of eight, which is really good. Well, I'm keeping Erdrick Sword on. Thank you, Dimension Harvester, for the 110 bits. That was, that was actually... I mean, it's still a lot of XP. Like, my normal battle is 100 to 300, you know? But, like... It's pretty unimpressive overall. I've definitely found this before. I feel like Erdrick's sword has some cool properties then. Either that or, or my attack power is just high enough to get past the defense of them. I think it's Erdrick's sword though. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely more XP than any other enemy by a good amount, like five times. Still, it's just kind of like, Metal Slimes are rare, killing them is even more rare, and so it feels like you should, you know, get more than that, but I didn't. <laughs> you know what I want to do is, I should use these Airdrick items in combat and see what happens. I've been over here, it's a dead end. Ba -na -na, ba -na -na. I keep hearing Sports Center. Ba -na -na, ba -na -na. Sports Center got its Yeah, this is where Sports Center got its thing from. Totally. <laughs> hey Lenally, thank you for the host. How you doing? What's going on? How was your stream? Alright, now we go far south. Ba da da ba da da ba da da That would actually make me really happy if, like, some jockey program, sports center or whatever, had its, its uh, theme based in, a, in some freaking old-school RPG back when playing RPGs and video games was total nerd territory. 